President Trump is no longer considering pulling out of NAFTA at this time. The White House says he spoke with the leaders of Mexico and Canada, and they agreed to renegotiate the agreement to the benefit of all three countries. Also making news, the president's income tax proposal. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson looks at its potential impact on taxpayers. He joins us live now in Santa Monica. Alex? Well, Mark and Michelle, if enacted, this plan would impact how much money is left in all of our wallets. The Trump administration with an ambitious goal. This is going to be the biggest tax cut and the largest tax reform in the history of our country. The plan would cut the corporate tax rate from 35% to 15%. It would also cut tax rates for individuals and simplify the system, reducing the number of tax brackets from seven to just three. It's a great plan. Edward Kleinbar disagrees. He's a professor at the USC Gould School of Law. It's, it's neither tax reform nor a plan. One bipartisan analysis estimates the plan could cost anywhere between three and seven trillion dollars in lost revenue over 10 years. What it really represents is the Christmas list of a very rich man um, who still believes in Santa Claus. Democrats say it's a non-starter. Republicans have uh, avoided uh, the responsibility of paying for their tax cuts. Tax attorney Dennis Brager of the Brager Law Tax Group likes the idea of doubling the standard deduction. That would mean for a married couple, the first $24,000 of income would be income tax free. That makes it much easier for the average person to prepare their income tax return. So that, that's important, I think. But he says the plan is short on specifics. In fact, it's only one page, double spaced. I suppose one of the better things I can say about it was uh, no trees were killed in the making of this tax plan. <laughs> the president's top advisors were asked how it helps the average taxpayer. Family of four, median income, $60,000. What does it mean for them? It's going to mean a tax cut. How much? Going to mean a tax cut. We will let you know these specific details at the appropriate moment. We also don't know how much it would personally help President Trump himself because he still refuses to release his tax returns. Now, some Republicans are expressing some concerns, especially about that deficit issue tonight. Yet the White House is confident that this plan will pass by the end of the year. Reporting live from Santa Monica tonight, Alex Michelson, ABC 7. Eyewitness News.